Nueces County Courthouse, where county commissioners have begun the unenviable task of dealing with a potential multi-million dollar budget shortfall. As we have reported here, the budget problems are tied to appraisal values for our local refineries. In some cases, those figures have jumped by as much as $5 billion. Now, while departments within the county have been budgeting based on the inflated numbers right now, that money is available on paper only. That's because the higher tax bills will almost certainly be contested rather than collected, leaving the county with a huge budget deficit. And as Precinct 4 Commissioner Brent Chesney reminded the court today, the ramifications for the county could prove to be historic. I get we're all in a tight spot, but boy, let me tell you, no one's in a tighter spot right now than Nueces County is. Our budget's going to be the worst ever unless some miracle happens. I know a lot of Meanwhile, County Judge Connie Scott has been meeting with department heads and elected officials, asking them to rethink their 2023-24 budgets. This is the county is looking at the possibility of cutting as much as 27% of its operating budget. Now, we asked officials with the city of Corpus Christi whether its budget would also be affected by the same problem now plaguing the county. They told us this, the refineries whose values have increased this year are not in the city limits of Corpus Christi, and so these values are not included in the city of Corpus Christi's assessed valuations. Now, the city went on to say that they do get money from the refineries in industrial district agreements and have been able to adequately factor that into their budget.